normal, you can imagine all your reactor, the factors, all your clotting factors are present and working if your APTT is normal except factor 7 which is out of preview of your APTT reagent which is there in your <coughs> factor that is your prothrombin. Next please. Activated APTT can be prolonged in number of conditions we are all aware of. Next please. <coughs> and this prolongation can be due to all these reasons. Next please. Let's come to another test which is thrombin time. Now look at this part of your classic coagulation casket. Fibrinogen to fibrin only. What does that mean? If you have a prothrombin time which is prolonged and APTT also prolonged, then you want to know whether the fibrinogen is there, the end product. Is it there for these arms to act upon? Now, if thrombin, thrombin time is normal, that means fibrinogen to fibrin is formed, that means both these have a common problem and that is in the common pathway, factor 10, 5 and 2. And that is the significance of thrombin time. Next please. Thrombin time usually measures the concentration of fibrinogen, can be due to a number of reasons. Next please. <coughs> Prothrombin time is normal. Next. APTT is normal. And thrombin is also normal. All your coagulation factors are present except, except poor factor 15. You have tested everything PT, APTT, thrombin, but you have not tested for factor 13. If you look for it, you will have baby problems. So please, what do we do for factor 13? Is clot solubility test. The last in the list coagulogram is a clot solubility test. It is telling us about the stability of the clot which has been formed by any of these pathways and it is stabilized, stabilized because of factor 13. So please do add this test normal graduation test. Next please. Now why misleading results can be there? It can be due to certain problems. We know that in factor 12 deficiency, as I've already mentioned, clinically, clinically there is no problem. However, in the laboratory you will have a blood which has not clotted, you will have APTT which has not clotted, and yet you have a normal prothrombin time. So that is where these are due to certain other factors. Factor 7 required to produce a normal PT is much in excess because of the interaction of the two cascades. And please remember, screening tests do not imply there is no defect in quality. You can have a coagulation factor and yet all these tests may be normal. Next please. Now if you have one of the tests, let's take ABTT as prolonged, PT as normal, that means factor 7 is there but coming down from the common pathway is there but something is missing above factor 10 in the intrinsic pathway, you want to know what is the reason is it due to deficiency or it may be due to inhibit? So take your mixing studies as patient's plasma, normal plasma, equal 1 is to 1 ratio. You add, the normal plasma is added and you do the test again. If it is corrected, something has been given by the normal plasma to the patient plasma which has corrected the defect and it can be due to any of the deficiencies. However, in case the normal plasma has not been able to correct the defect, then there is patient's plasma which is not allowing the normal factors to correct that disorder. That may be due to certain inhibitors. Next please. I have a few cases. I would just quickly like to discuss. 
Look at this boy, two year old, usability, hematomas, no family history of significance. That's the screening coagulogram. Interpret it for me. Bleeding time, clotting time more than 20 minutes. Platelets, good clumping of the smear. Retraction is good. PT is normal. APTT prolonged. Thrombin normal. Clot solubility normal. Can somebody get up one of the PTs? This is an example.